What's up guys? Welcome back to Bruce Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are continuing to tear apart the Cayman engine. Stay tuned. The goal today is to get the cylinder heads off and see if we can find any major issues in the top of the cylinders. The dreaded D-chunk, which is where a chunk of the cylinder actually breaks off and then your block is in real bad shape. You have to have it sleeved. Um, it, it's, it's no bueno. So we're hoping that's not the issue. We're going to find out when we pull the heads off. I went ahead and off camera uh, got all of the stuff off the top end of the engine. We got the front accessories off, the secondary air pump, uh, the starter, all this stuff right here. Uh, heat exchanger. So at this point, we have a pretty bare engine, which is what we want. And I'm gonna get the impact out and I'm just gonna start breaking bolts, tearing into this thing. Let's do it. First thing we gotta do is get the valve covers off. And since we still don't have the adapter to mount this engine to the stand, I'm laying on the ground. That should be all the bolts for the passenger side valve cover. We're going to use our tiny little dead blow, see if we can't get it off. <laughs> tiny little dead blow. Yeah, it does some damage to a thumb though. All right, that didn't work. All right, let's try this again with a little bigger hammer. If I hit my thumb with this one, it'll probably explode. So let's hope we don't do that. Let's try that again. That's intimidating looking. All right, so there's a valve cover off. And unfortunately, it looks to me like the cams are gonna have to come off before we can get the head bolts off. I'm nervous. I think we do some research. Well, I'm back. It's a new day. I'm wearing my new 944 shirt, uh, anniversary gift from my wife, thanks. So where we left off, we had the valve cover off of one side of the engine and that's still where we're at. We ran into a problem and that is the timing chain. You have to take the camshafts off in order to get to the head bolts and the timing chain is there. I see a tensioner right down inside there. I'm assuming that you just back that tensioner out and then you can get the chains off. I don't know that to be the case. I've never taken one of these engines apart. I'm obviously a little concerned about screwing something up. I don't know if they need to be marked before you take them apart or what. So if any of you guys out there have taken an M96, M97, Cayman, Boxster, 911 motor apart and uh, have some advice, let us know. Otherwise, someone had sent me a full Cayman workshop manual. So I'm gonna dig through that and, and take a look and see exactly what needs to be done. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the valve cover off the other side and I'm gonna get the clutch and pressure plate off and we're just gonna keep going as far as we can until I can get a little more info on getting the cylinder heads off. That should be all the bolts for the valve cover. I pushed the wrong button on the camera and I wasn't recording as I took all of those fellas out, but they're out. So 
Let's pry this thing off of there, see uh, what it looks like. This little fella seems to be holding things up and I don't remember seeing this on the other side. I'm gonna try to get it off. See what it is. Found my culprit. One last bolt that I missed. That's a little better. Let's see if we're clean in here. Looks pretty good. I don't see any metal shavings or anything too nasty besides some old dirty oil. Now that those valve covers are off and we're at a stopping point on the heads, let's go ahead and pull the flywheel and pressure plate off. Clutch still looks new, which it should, since it has just a few hundred miles on it. Maybe, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred. Flywheel's looking good. Again, real low mileage. So that's about as far as we can get right now. The engine is getting pretty bare. Once we get those cylinder heads off and a few little odds and ends here, we'll be down to the short block. So even though we didn't get quite as far as we wanted to on the Cayman engine, I do have a piece of good news. We got the full late offset 951 suspension here that's gonna go on the 944. And these A-arms already have mono balls in them, which is awesome. On top of the new suspension, I also got a set of 17 inch Kinesis K57 three piece wheels. Uh, I don't know that they're gonna fit perfect right off the bat, but being three piece, I have the ability to change out the lips or the barrels and make whatever size wheel I want. So I'm super pumped about having those and we're on the right track with the 944. So those videos will be coming up. I also got the flocking kit for the dashboard. So that's gonna be coming. We've got a lot of good stuff happening. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.